dear students today we are going to start a new chapter chapter 10 reflection the first chapter from the topic coordinate geometry coordinate geometry is that branch of mathematics which deals with the study of geometry by means of algebra in coordinate geometry we represent a point in a plane by an ordered pair of real numbers called coordinates let us recall the concept of cartesian system of coordinates a cartesian coordinate system or a coordinate plane consists of two numbered lines placed perpendicular to each other in this figure the line x o x dash and the line y o y dash together form a coordinate plane the horizontal line x o x dash is called x axis the vertical line y o y dash is called y axis and the point of intersection of the x axis and the y axis is called the origin represented by the point o every point in the coordinate plane is represented by an ordered pair of real numbers in this figure consider a point p the coordinates of p are represented by considering the lengths om and mp the length om is called the x coordinate or abscissa the length mp is called the y coordinate or ordinate that means the value x is called the abscissa and the value y is called the ordinate the ordered pair x y is called the cartesian coordinates or simply coordinates of the point p for example in this figure the coordinates of the point p are 4 and 3 remember that the coordinates of origin are 0 and 0 this figure also shows the sign convention of x coordinate and the y coordinate in the first quadrant both the x coordinate and y coordinate are positive in the second quadrant the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive in the third quadrant both x and y coordinates are negative and in the fourth quadrant the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative now let us see what is meant by reflection reflection of a point in a line the reflection of a point p in a line ab is a point p dash such that ab is the perpendicular bisector of the line segment p p dash in this figure we have a point p and its image in the line ab is represented by the point p dash we have to note down that the distance between p and the line ab is equal to the distance between the point p dash and the line ab and also the line ab is the perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining both the object and the image or both the point and the image the line ab is called the axis of reflection now there is a special case in this if the point p lies on the line ab then the image p is the point p itself then the point p is called an invariant point a point is called an invariant point with respect to a given line if and only if it lies on the given line in this chapter we will study the following reflections reflection of a point in x axis reflection of a point in y axis reflection of a point in origin reflection of a point in a line parallel to x axis and reflection of a point in a line parallel to y axis first of all let us see the reflection of a point in x axis consider a point p x y in the plane from p if we draw a perpendicular pm to the x axis and produce it to a point p dash such that mp dash is equal to mp then the point p dash is the reflection or image of the point p and the coordinates of p 
and the coordinates of p dash are clearly x comma minus y. Thus, the reflection or image of any point p x y in the x axis is the point p dash x comma minus y. Here, it is clear that when we take the reflection of any point x y in the x axis, the coordinates of the image are made such that the value of x is retained and there is a change in the sign of the y coordinate. For example, the reflection of the point 2, 3 in x axis is 2 comma minus 3. The reflection of the point minus 3 minus 2 in x axis is minus 3, 2 and the reflection of the point 0, 1 in x axis is 0 comma minus 1. Now, reflection of a point in y axis. Consider the point P, X, Y. To find out the reflection of this point in y axis, draw P M perpendicular to y axis and produce it to P dash such that P M is equal to M P dash. Clearly, the point P dash minus X, Y is the image of the point P X Y in Y axis. So, the reflection or image of any point P X Y in Y axis is the point P dash minus X comma Y. In this, it is clear that when we form the image of any point P X Y in Y axis, the value of Y is retained and the sign of x is changed. For example, the reflection of the point 2, 3 in y axis is the point minus 2, 3. The reflection of minus 3, minus 2 in y axis is 3, minus 2. And the reflection of 1, 0 in y axis is minus 1, 0. Now, reflection of a point in origin. Consider a point P, X, Y. To find out the reflection of P, X, Y in origin, draw P, O and produce it to P dash. Such that P, O is equal to O, P dash. Clearly, P dash is the image of P, X, Y in origin and the coordinates of P dash are minus x and minus y. Thus the reflection of any point p x y in the origin is the point p dash minus x comma minus y. For example, the reflection of point 2 3 in origin is minus 2 minus 3. Reflection of minus 3 2 in origin is 3 minus 2 and the reflection of 1 0 in origin is minus 1 0. To find the reflection of a point in origin, we have to change the sign of both x coordinate and y coordinate. Now, reflection of a point in a line parallel to x axis. Here, we consider a point P, X, Y and a line parallel to x axis that is y is equal to a. We know that a line parallel to x axis is represented by the equation y is equal to a where a is the constant distance between the x-axis and the line which is considered. Now this reflection or the reflection of any point p x y in a line y is equal to a is the point p dash x minus y plus 2 a. Here the value of x retains and the values of y is changed as minus y plus 2a. So the reflection or image of any point p x y in the line y is equal to a is the point p dash x comma minus y plus 2a. Let us consider some examples. Here we have a point 2 3. We have to find the reflection of the point 2, 3 in the line 
y is equal to 1 which is a line parallel to x axis at a distance of 1 unit from the x axis in the positive side, side of the x axis. Now its image can be obtained by the formula x comma minus y plus 2a by substituting the value of x, y and a we get 2 comma minus 3 plus 2 into 1 that is 2 comma minus 1 on calculation. Similarly the image of minus 3 minus 3 in a line y is equal to minus 2 is minus 3 comma minus 1. Here y is equal to minus 2 is a line parallel to x axis at a distance of 2 units in the negative side of the x axis. Therefore the value of a is minus 2 and by substituting the value of a we get this image that is minus 3 comma minus 1. Reflection of a point in a line parallel to y axis. Consider the point P x y and a line x is equal to a which is a line parallel to y axis at a distance of a unit from y axis. Here the reflection of this point P x y can be obtained by P dash minus x plus 2a comma y. Here to find out this reflection we use this rule the value of y is retained and the value of x is changed as minus x plus 2 into a. For example consider the point 2 3 and find out its reflection in the line x is equal to 1 which is a line parallel to y axis. The value of y is retained that is 3 itself and the value of x can be obtained by the formula minus x plus 2a that is minus 2 plus 2 into 1 that is minus 2 plus 2 that is 0. Hence the reflection of 2 3 in the line x is equal to 1 is 0 comma 3. Similarly the reflection of minus 3 comma minus 3 in a line parallel to x parallel to y axis that is x is equal to minus 2 which is at a distance of 2 units at the left of the y axis. Hence the value of a is minus 2 by substituting this value of a we can obtain the image of minus 3 minus 3 as minus 1 comma minus 3. Now let us move to the exercise 10. In the first part of this exercise we have only questions using the direct application of the formula. So you are recommended to solve those questions by yourself. Let us start with question number 11 now. Find the coordinates of the image of 3 minus 1 under reflection in x axis followed by reflection in line x is equal to 1. So here we have to apply two reflections. One is a reflection in x axis and another one is a reflection in the line x is equal to 1. So image of 3, 1 under reflection in x axis gives the image 3 comma minus 1. We know that the value of x is retained and the value of y can be obtained by changing the sign of the y value of y in the point. That means the image is 3 minus 1. Now this reflection is followed by another reflection that is reflection in the line x is equal to 1. So we have to find out the image of 3 comma minus 1 under the reflection in the line x is equal to 1. So we have to apply the formula minus 3 plus 2 into 1 comma minus 1 that is minus 1 comma minus 1. Now question 18. A point P A B is reflected in the x axis to P dash 2 minus 3. Write down the values of A and B. P double dash is the image of P when reflected in the y axis, write down the coordinates of P double dash. Find the coordinates of P triple dash when P is reflected in the line parallel to y axis such that x is equal to 4. So here first of all an image is given that is P dash 2 minus 3. From that we have to find out the point that is P A B. 
Now we know that the reflection of PAB in x axis is a comma minus b and that is given 2 comma minus 3 by equating these two ordered pairs we have a minus b is equal to 2 minus 3 that implies a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 minus b is equal to minus 3 implies b is equal to 3 or the points of p coordinates of p are 2 and 3 now reflection of p 2 3 in y axis is p double dash minus 2 3. in this the value of y is retained and the value of x or the sign of x is changed so p double dash is minus 2 3 now the reflection of p 2 3 in x is equal to 4 can be obtained by the formula minus x plus 2a comma y that is minus 2 plus 2 into 4 comma 3 that is p triple dash is 6 comma 3 now question 22 use graph paper for this question take 2 centimeter is equal to 1 unit along both x and y axis a b c d is a quadrilateral whose vertices are a 2 comma 2 b 2 comma minus 2 c 0 comma minus 1 and d 0 1 and there are four questions in this section you have to answer all those four questions with the help of the plotted graph in all the questions in which it is mentioned that you have to use the graph paper you must use the graph paper in the given unit itself that means in this graph paper you have to take two centimeter as one unit it is clearly shown in this graph it is taken 2 cm as 1 unit you also have to do the same now let us solve this problem we have to plot this quadrilateral with vertices a 2 2 b 2 minus 2 c 0 minus 1 and d 0 1 first of all now let us see what are the questions Reflect quadrilateral ABCD on the y axis and name it as A dash B dash C D. So, here it is shown in the graph. It, you have to plot the other quadrilateral also, that is A dash B dash C D is the reflection of quadrilateral ABCD in y axis. Now, write down the coordinates of A dash and B dash. It is very clear that the coordinates of A dash is minus 2, 2 because it is a reflection in y axis. It is a reflection of A in y axis and the reflection of B 2 minus 2 is B dash minus 2 minus 2. Now the third question name the points which are invariant under the above reflection. Here we have made the reflection of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. But the points C 0 minus 1 and D 0 1 lie on y axis and therefore they are invariant. So the invariant points are the points C 0 minus 1 and D 0 1. Now fourth question name the polygon A dash B dash C D. From the figure it is clear that the polygon A dash B dash C D is an isosceles trapezium. Now, question number 27. The points A, 2, 3, B, 4, 5 and C, 7, 2 are vertices of triangle ABC. Though it is not given in this question that you have to use a graph paper, it is very clear that you have to plot this triangle on a graph paper. Only then you will be able to find out the reflection of these vertices. So you have to plot these vertices on a graph paper. You can use any convenient unit. Here I have used a unit of 1 cm. Now we have to plot these points on the graph paper. It is already plotted. Now we have to find the reflection of these points in the origin. And those points will be 
a1 b1 and c1 so here the reflection of triangle abc in the origin is made the points a1 b1 and c1 are respectively minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and minus 7 minus 2 now in the next question it is given that write down the coordinates of a2 b2 c2 if triangle a2 b2 c2 is the image of triangle abc when reflected in the x axis so now first of all we have made a reflection of this triangle in origin now we have to make the reflection of the same triangle in x axis and those points will be a2 b2 and c2 so these are the reflection of the points a b and c in x axis a2 2 minus 3 b2 4 minus 5 and c2 7 minus 2 in the fourth question we are also asked to assign a special name to the quadrilateral b c c2 b2 and find its area here the quadrilateral b c c2 b2 are, is plotted and from the figure it is very clear that it is an isosceles trapezium now we have to find out the area of this isosceles trapezium we know that the formula for area of isosceles area of a trapezium is equal to half into sum of parallel sides into height so here the parallel sides are 4 cm and 10 cm respectively so we have to apply the formula and the height of the tra this trapezium is 3 cm when it is when it is plotted on a graph paper it is very easy to find out the units or it is very easy to find out the length so we have obtained the length of sum of parallel sides and also height by applying the formula we get the area of the trapezium as 21 square units so hope that you have understood the chapter well if you have any doubt it can be clarified in the coming online classes thank you